Hello, friends, and thank you for joining me. My name is Ariel Lansford, and today's practice is going to be a yin practice, a very slow practice that is all about helping to deal with anxiety, calming the mind and slowing the body. So I thank you, Lord, for this practice and this time and this ability to move my body and to just spend time doing something that's good for myself. I give it all to you, Lord. And we are going to start in a butterfly pose. So we are going to place the heels of our feet together and lean forward. You can use your arms on your thighs to help get a deeper stretch or reach your arms forward and stretch out in front of you. Um, again, this is a yin practice. So these poses are going to be held for longer periods of time, about two minutes per pose. So remember to connect to your breath, just being mindful. Inhaling through your nose and exhaling through your nose. Maybe set an intention for your practice for today. What do you want this practice to be about? What does this practice mean to you? It's okay if your mind wanders, but just remember that this time is for you. To do something good for our bodies to help let go of the day and the worries and the stress, to help calm our bodies and reset, getting rid of the anxiousness, the sadness, the stress. All right, friends, we are going to come out of this pose. So just slowly bring yourself up and transition into all fours. We are going to get ready for our puppy pose. So hips are over the knees and we are going to slowly stretch our arms forward, trying to reach our chest to the ground. If that's too much for you, that's okay. Modify it as needed. Remember that this is for you. Find what feels good for you. Don't forget to connect to your breath. Deep inhales and exhales through the nose. Right here, I'm putting my hands in prayer above my head to intensify the stretch. But you don't have to do this. Again, find what feels good for you. Keep your hips up and pushing back. Should feel really good for your back and your upper body. And again, we are staying here for about two minutes.
All right, we are about to get out of this pose. I like to do another pose that kind of counteracts what we just did. So I just do a little cobra pose. Stretching out that back. Feels really good. And getting ready to go into straddle pose. So you're going to find a seat and reach both legs out to the side. Again, this is for whatever comfort level you are at. My straddle is not very wide. You might have a wider straddle than I do or a narrower straddle. Something else that can help is keeping your knees a little bent. And remember, this is supposed to feel good. This is a yin practice and yoga should never be painful. So if you're feeling any sort of pain, modify it. Feel free to reach far forward if you can. Sit up straight if that feels better for you. But again, we're just going to stay in this pose and enjoy the benefits for a couple of minutes, focusing on our breath. Inhale. And exhale. We are going to get ready to come out of this straddle pose. So slowly come up and we are going to prepare for pigeon pose. I am going to be doing this on my left side first. So I am going to bring my left leg forward at a parallel to my mat and my right leg is going to come back. Try to square off your hips so that they are squared with your mat. And then when you're ready, you can bring your arms forward and just enjoy this pose. Feel this amazing stretch. Again, my friends, if this is too intense for you, please feel free to modify. Maybe consider doing a fire log pose or just sitting up and not leaning forward. Find what feels good for you. Remember to stay connected to your breath. Inhale. And exhale.
All right, we are going to get ready to move to our pigeon on the other side. So slowly come up, bring your right leg forward, and prepare for pigeon on the right side. So our right leg will be forward and parallel to the front of our mat, bringing our left leg back. Again, remembering to keep your hips squared. When you are ready, feel free to fold forward over your front leg and intensify the stretch. If this is too much for you, then just stay up. Or maybe like I mentioned earlier, try fire log. Remember to stay connected to your intention. What is your intention for this practice? All right, we are ready to come out of pigeon pose and transition into our next pose. Next, we are going to be doing a supine spinal twist. So when you're ready, find your way onto your back, slowly lower down. And I'm gonna be doing this one a little bit different than I normally do. So normally I would have one leg straight and the other leg bent and bringing it over to one side, but I am going to be bending both legs. So I'm starting with um, a twist to the left, which means that my right leg is on top and I am grabbing that leg with my left, but turning my head to the right and the bottom leg is bent as well. If you're unsure on how to do this, just watch me for visual cues. Once you find it, it should be a nice juicy stretch. It should feel really good, especially on your back. Um, try to keep both shoulder blades on the floor. If you are unable to keep both shoulder blades on the floor, then maybe take a little bit less of a twist. Staying connected with our breath, letting that be your focus or maybe your intention. Maybe you like to recite scripture. Whatever helps you to relax and enjoy this practice.
Okay, we are now going to switch to the other side. So we are going to have our right leg on the bottom now and our left leg on the top. Hug your legs into your chest and get ready to rotate to the right, which means that your left leg will be on top. And as you can see in the video, my right foot is bent underneath and I am holding it with my left arm. My head is turned the opposite of my top leg, which means that right now my head is turned to the right, facing the camera. Feel free to adjust and modify as needed. Deep inhale. And exhale. Again, we're going to be here for about two minutes. All right, friends, we are getting ready to transition out of the spinal twist into a gentle hip opener. We are going to be moving on to happy baby. So we're gonna hug our knees into our chest and extend our legs up and open them wide. You are going to take your hands and grab your feet on the outside edge of your foot. For a little bit more advanced stretch, you can take your peace fingers and grab your big toe really pulling those knees down towards the ground the closer you can get them to the ground the better but again be mindful of your body and how this feels for you we're going to be in this pose for about two minutes
all right friends and we are just about done with this practice we are going to transition out of happy baby into our final pose shavasana corpse pose so i like to just windshield wiper my legs give my hips a nice stretch creating some room and comfort Feel free to really take up some room on your mat. So you're going to spread your legs, put your arms out to your side. If you like, you can put one hand on your chest and one hand on your belly so that you're connected to heart and breath. But this is where we are going to rest for the next couple of minutes as we finish out our practice. So as we are finishing out this practice today, I want you to think about how you feel, how you feel when you started, how you feel now, how you would like to feel as you continue your day or your night. Really letting go of the things that no longer serve you. Let go of it. Don't hold on to those things. They not only affect us mentally, but they affect us physically, spiritually, and they keep us from achieving the wonderful things that are meant for us in this life. Let it all go. Leave the anxiety, the stress, the tension, the drama, the worries. Leave it all on your mat. Life can be overwhelming, but we can do a lot of things that are really, really good for our bodies, for our minds, for our spirits, so we can continue to try to grow and strive even in the difficult times. Use these tools, use yoga, use meditation, use scripture. All of these things that you have at your disposal to help, to help with whatever you are dealing with. We have about a minute left. All right, friends, we are slowly going to make our way out of this pose. So slowly start to move your body. Bring your legs up and roll over on one side into the fetal position. We're gonna get ready to end this practice. We're going to meet together in a seated position, whatever seated position is comfortable for you. And I just want to thank you and give thanks to yourself, thanks to God for this wonderful time that we've had together. For being able to do good for our minds and our bodies and our spirits. I just, I hope that the rest of your day is wonderful and magnificent. Peace, love and love.